Welcome back, War Machines. As you can see, my canker worm is basically finished. A little sloppy. I'll probably go back and touch him up a little bit. Um, just to kind of fill in some of the cracks. Um, the pattern I was doing in the previous video of filling in the armor plates, I just continued all the way up. You can see here. Um, I stopped to do a black and silver mix for the under part of these smokestacks and then a, a bronze and black on the upper side of the smokestacks. Um, his face is bone. I'm actually going to, let me go ahead and do that. He's got kind of a mask thing over his skull face. So I'm just going to fill that in real quick with uh, silver black. Just like this. And if it gets in his eyes, that's okay. What I'm about to do right after this is go over the whole thing again with uh, my favorite thing in the world, Citadel Shade Nuln Oil. And what that's going to do is um, go in all the cracks of this model, fill them in, make them dark, cover up a lot of my mistakes. Um, for experts, they, I mean, experts probably don't do that. But for me, um, I find that it just really kind of finishes it off and camouflages a lot of the spots I miss. It's, it's kind of a cop-out. It really is cheating. But, you know, I'm not an expert. See that? There. Oops. And those are exactly the kind of places that that oil shade is going to go. And those are exactly the kind of boo boos it's going to cover up. Under there, too. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. Touch that up a little. I think he turned out pretty good, you know, or just a average guy like me that's really not much of an expert at this. And I, I'm, I'm guessing most of you out there that are watching these are not experts either. There's a lot of YouTube channels that do this and they are super experts and they're so good and they make it look so easy uh, Victoria from Girl Painting is one of my favorites and uh, she if you haven't checked out her Girl Painting videos they're really a joy to see but it can be really humbling to watch her work because she is just so good Okay, so, but what we're going to do is uh, dab a little bit of this stuff. And we're going to go here, we're going to stay to the cracks. And we're going to let it cling to the, see how it does that? Loop. And that's just going to go down into the cracks and the places that we might have missed. It's going to cover it up. And the great thing about this stuff is that it's it's oily. When it dries, it's going to look greasy and dirty and just exactly what a Crix Jack needs to make it look used. You don't want to pile too much up there. So you can kind of steal it and redistribute it like that. All right. And I'm trying not to just, like... Just lay it down on the the wide parts of the armor plating because it will kind of ruin the the fade, the shadow effect we've got. But this stuff is forgiving enough that if you do get a little wild with it, it uh, it'll still look okay. 
and the stuff is so oh I'm sorry and the stuff is so thin that it really just goes down into all the cracks of what you've painted it fills them in black like stuff like this is just the best example it's going to go in those cracks like that dry not only will your will it look like you just bloop, 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 perfectly filled in all those it's going to look greasy and rusty nasty and gross just like a cricks ah so good good stuff good stuff I really I swear by this this shade there's not a lot of uh, Citadel paints or even privateer press paints that I use but I don't know what I would do without this stuff well I know what I would do would have I'd have like crappy looking models I think if you go back and watch my um, ghoul painting series I attempted <laughs> I attempt to paint the ghoul without this stuff but even that guy just I tried to, to mix black paint with water and it just came out splotchy and nasty. Not good nasty like this stuff, but just sloppy looking. Look at that. Okay. Oops. Oh, much there. Okay. Okay. Ah. And if, if I do get carried away, which I am, what I'll do is take one more step after this dries and go back and just do a, a quick highlight over over the uh, the really dark part to lighten it up and just use that slate green again. Same with the armor plating anywhere that I overdo it with the, uh, the black stuff. You can just go back and put like a spot of the bright green paint just like what we were doing before with the armor plating, with the highlighting. Just keep it lighter on the raised parts, like this should be lighter than this. But uh, as you can see I've, I've gone a bit wild again. Oh boy. Anyway, so that's about it. Um, you know, you can see his uh, his face I did with a mix of flesh tone and uh, buttermilk, and then I just went over it with the gnome oil that filled in all the cracks. I think it's going to look pretty good. I'm eager to see how he does on the battlefield. All right. Thanks for watching as always. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike if you're feeling jerky or if you just don't like it. Um, yeah, see you next time.